welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Derek and today we're going to be talking about a hidden feature that is found within the weldment corner treatment. In this case, we have three specific entities that we want to blend together so that it is one specific end miter instead of one end miter and an additional piece that lies below it. So in this case, this is one of those things that you may not uh, look for, or you may not know even exists. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it works. In this case, we're just going to select on our structural member tool. We're going to pick on two entities. In this case, you can see that the end miter works perfectly here, but when we try and select a third, it will not let us. So what we have to do is we have to start a new group and select that last entity. And what you'll see here is it doesn't actually blend it in at all with the uh, end miter that we already have. So what we have to do is we have to go in and edit the corner treatment to then allow all three of these to blend together to a specific point that's going to come up in here. So, so this bottom piece will then blend up very nicely with the other two. So we're going to edit this structural member and we're going to click directly on this pink endpoint, which is our corner treatment. The corner treatment dialog box pops up and you can see that we have two groups, group one and group two, and they have different trim orders. So if we select on the second trim order, you can see that we can actually change the what it does. So in this case, you can see a little dialog box pops up and it says that the trim order controls the order that the groups trim other groups. Lowest number trim higher numbers. So in this case, if it's first, it's gonna trim those things first and then obviously so on and so forth. But if we change this trim order from two to one, it will then be the same trim order as the first. So it'll essentially trim all of them together at the same time. So in this case, I'm going to change it to one, hit enter on my keyboard, and you'll see that it does bring that bottom piece up and trims all three of those at the same time. So if I hit OK here, hit OK to their structural member, you can see that it does trim all of those three into a nice specific point. Now, this is not something that a lot of people know that even exists. So I hope you guys were able to uh, get a little tech tip out of this and uh, hope to see you guys for another tech tip in the future. Have a nice day. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.